Hello, Holy Cross community. This is Father Erasmus once again communicating with you uh, in my weekly message, and it is a blessing always to be uh, communicating with you in this manner. Uh, today, I'm here with some old friends. Uh, you might say, Father, you're by yourself. Well, my old friends is uh, the Bible that I have here, and also it's some of my old prayer books uh, as I was growing up uh, as a child. They have been repaired many, many times, and I have them here with me today. And my topic that I want to share with you is as follows. It is uh, about raising our children within the faith. Uh, starting with the Bible in the book of Proverbs, a book that I highly uh, recommend for one to read as it gives us beautiful little sayings about the spiritual life. Uh, from about uh, 3,000 years ago, and we find in Proverbs 22, uh, verse 6, it says, Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. I repeat again, Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. And that comes to mind as I think many times as I speak to uh, parents and I hear that um, many parents do not bring our children to the church, many parents do not spend time in, with reading uh, spiritual books on a regular basis, and when I say regular, on a daily basis with their children. Many of our parents do not take time to read the Bible with their children, and I would say many of our parents do not take time to do prayers on a daily basis with the children. Uh, these are my prayer books. Uh, some of them have been replaced with newer ones uh, through the centuries and are both in Greek, like the Erasmus, and in English. And by the way, I was born and raised in America, so um, all these things, because my mom pushed me. So this is the Book of Psalms, and this is the different saints of the day. And these are beautiful morning prayers that I have photocopies of the original books that have been destroyed through the years, and other morning prayers, and then a nice prayer book from the um, St. Vladimir Seminary up in uh, Crestwood, New York, and another amazing uh, prayer book that uh, is from St. Tikhan's Monastery um, up in, in, in Pennsylvania. And these are were my friends as I was growing up uh, here in New York, like I said, it wasn't in Greece or anything like that. Uh, using these prayer books. Uh, and I remember my mom sitting with me and kneeling in front of the icons every single day and learning to say different prayers, both in Greek and English. And not just the Pater um, but a lot of long prayers too, the prayers of the church, the prayers of the Apodipno or the small confine service. These are realities that were in my life and, I, and I've said publicly before, I, I thank my mom for doing this with me and I thank her for teaching me how to love God. And of course, reading the Bible, and as I say to my children in DJK, I've read this book, the entire book, at least five, six times, because um, I read a, a chapter a day, and it adds up, and the New Testament at least 10, 15 times. And I'm not saying these things for, with, uh, with you to, sh to, uh, to show up or anything like that, because I'm a sinner, and I, I profess that publicly, I'm a sinner, and I have my faults. I share that with you because you are my family. And I want our future generation to be close to God. So parents, uh, as the Bible says, we have to train our children. You ever thought about it that our little children, uh, by the time they are uh, two, three years old, maybe four years old, are speaking English, maybe Greek also, only because they're exposed to you, the parents, only because they're exposed to you and they're able to speak a language that for us adults would take a long, long time to learn. And all of us have heard people speak with an accent, um, and we see how impossible it is uh, for one to learn a language when they're older without an accent. But our children learn to speak perfectly only by being close to and listening. Imagine what damage we do to our children because we do not expose them on a weekly basis to the Holy Church services, and how much damage we do that we do not expose them on a daily basis to the prayers of the Church and to the Bible. So by the time they're four or five years old, it's too late. I hope you understand it, it's too late already. They have lost their childhood years, they have lost being sponges to the holy things, and they have become sponges to sponge bobs and other things of that nature. 
And, and therefore, uh, my good parents, please do not waste this precious time. I hear sometimes parents say to me, my child is too tired. And I also hear parents say uh, that I'll ask my child if I want to go to church on Sunday. That is such a poor, poor, poor excuse. Do we ask the same question when it comes on Monday? Oh, do you, child, you want to go to school on Monday? Or we just say, you have to get up and go. And that is how it has to be with church on Sunday. But the problem is not our children. The problem is the parents. And the parents have to say that I will go to church every Sunday because if I deprive of my children prayers and reading the holy text and reading about the saints of the church, that is called spiritual neglect and abuse. And therefore, if it was physical neglect and abuse, I had every right to call social services. But when it comes to spiritual matter, we do not call social services or spiritual social services to make sure that the parents are doing what is, is, is supposed to be done. So I'm, I feel blessed that I have these friends in my life. Um, and I'm so blessed that I know most, if not all, of these um, psalms, not by heart, but I can repeat them very easily. And I feel blessed that I had beautiful prayers to accompany me uh, in my life as a child and to um, be, feel closer to God, both in Greek and in English. And therefore, my, my prayer is, is that we do not lose our child to the devil. We do not lose our, ch our, our children to the ways of this world. Because the ways of this world will lead our children to hell. And the ways of God will lead them to eternal life with God in, in heaven. Today is the time that you have to choose this. And um, today is the day that you will introduce your children to new friends. Friends of a lifetime friends that will be close to them and who will guide them into loving God and being holy. Πιστεύω ότι το ξέρουν και άλλε προσευχέ και προπάτη τη Εκκλησία μα. Τα παιδιά μαθαίνουν όλα όταν είναι μικρά. Μαθαίνουν μια ολόκληρη α, γλώσσα και στα αγγλικά και στα ελληνικά. Απλώ ακούνε στου γονεί. Αλλά αν τα έχουμε κοντά στην Εκκλησία μα να ακούσουν την προπάρεια, τότε λέω να, κοντά στην Εκκλησία εννοώ κάθε Κυριακή. Κάθε Κυριακή. Δεν υπάρχει δικαιολογία. Να μην είναι κάθε Κυριακή τα παιδιά μα στην Εκκλησία μα. Δεν με ενδιαφέρει. Μου λέτε, Ω, oh, είμαι κουρασμένο ή δεν μπορώ, το ένα και το άλλο. Όταν είναι για το σχολείο, πάνε τα παιδιά. Αλλά για την Εκκλησία δεν μπορούμε. Λοιπόν, έχουμε τα παιδιά μα να τα γράψουμε α, στο κατηχητικό σχολείο. Αλλά πιο πολύ έχουμε τα παιδιά μα να εκκλησιάζονται. Λοιπόν, α κάνουμε μια προσπάθεια και πάλι φέτο να είμαστε κοντά στον κύριο μα. Αμήν.